Hello tie knot lovers, Mr C's How to Tie a Tie. This creation is another one by Linwood from Who Sees This and this one is called The Theatre Knot. It's very similar to the Mantis Knot which I've not quite yet done but I will do um, and the Elephant Knot and the Vampire Knot where we've got these bits that come down the side here but we've got our theatre um, curtain going across the top. So this is what it looks like so let's take it apart and let's get started. Okay, with this knot, we're going to start off with the blade on the right hand side, the tail on the left hand side, and the blade is going to go down to where you normally end up wearing it, somewhere between your belly button and your belt line. It will drop slightly when you um, cinch it up. And we're going to do a power crease in the middle. So you fold it in half, fold it back on itself, and that'll give you a power crease in the middle, it says. underneath and it's going to come up and it's going to go through and down to the right left hand side. Then what we're going to do is we're going to twist it in half with the open side pointing out and then folding in half we're going to go down, round underneath, out to the right and then that's going to go down and it's going to come back on itself on the right hand side. We're keeping all this to do is we can take it just unfold it straight across the top and then we're going to fold it round and back up through and it looks a little bit like the mantis knot or the elephant knot where we've got these tusk bits coming down and what we're going to do now is we're going to come back down through there but I'm going to fold it in half again seam at the top and it's going to go back up through this side and that just tucks round and underneath the side collar and if we drop our collar down and then we just cinch it up and then what we do is just a little bit of adjusting down a little bit. So we have our two parts coming down, our theatre curtain going across the top, and there we have our theatre knot. <laughs> 